Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and I am so excited about today's video for many reasons. The first one is this is episode two of the Decenio design series. So if you have not already seen, I did one episode before. We actually did a small space as well for my friend Trevor, and it turned out incredible. And this is episode two, so today's video is kindly sponsored by Decenio. But on top of all of that, this is another small space, and it's also rental friendly. And last but not least, it is for my manager, Miriam, which I I absolutely love Miriam. We have been working together for so many years now. Like I've had the same manager for so long and we just get it. Like we just connect. And I saw her office space at her home where she, you know, she's making all the money at. And I was like, we need to give this a little bit of a revamp. So that is exactly what we are doing today with the help from Decenio. And if you guys have never heard of Decenio before, it is my favorite art print company. They have such a wide variety of art prints. I'll link them below for you. And also if you're going back to school or heading into like a dorm space or something, I feel like artwork is the number one way to personalize a space. They have a humongous selection of artwork. They have frames, they have mats, they have everything you need for the perfect gallery wall. They even have a cool gallery wall tool, which we're going to be using today. I am heading back to Los Angeles and going straight to Miriam's to start this makeover. And the thing is, is again, like the last one, I have absolutely nothing. I have zero. All I have is the artwork that I ordered and I know that I want to paint the room. So we're just going to go from there and see what happens. So <laughs> let's get going. <laughs> I just got over to Miriam's and I'm in her small office space. So I already went ahead and kind of removed some of the decor bits that were up here. Just kind of cleared it out a little bit, but I'm gonna pop up some of the befores of this space so you guys can get an idea of what it looked like. It is about seven feet wide by 10 feet long, which is a great size for like a little office space. There's enough space back here, as you can see, for like a little sofa, like a settee as well, which I love. And I'm kind of thinking I'm actually gonna swap the desk from this wall to this wall because we have the wood over here, which is fun, but we have some prints from Decenio that I want to kind of get an idea of how they look over here, just in terms of laying them out to select a paint color because we are going to be painting this space. I think that's gonna make the biggest impact in here. And believe it or not, they actually framed these ones for me. They have that option on their website if you want them to be framed or matted, um, or you can also just order the posters and the frames and the mats yourself and do it yourself. But these ones I had framed and they look so good. For on the Decenio website, they have this great gallery wall tool, which actually lets you choose between a couple different layouts for a room, and then you can choose between frame orientations as well, or like gallery wall setups essentially. And I love how you can place in them the different art prints that Decenio offers, and you can filter between colors or add your favorite prints that you've already hearted on their website. I love how it just gives you a visual so you don't have to Photoshop anything or blindly imagine what your gallery wall will look like. So once you have all the prints that you like for your selection, I also love how it lets you choose a frame option so you can kind of pick between and see what frame works best and you can add all of it to your cart in the end if you love the wall. This is the first print, the largest one. I love this one so much. I actually used one of these pieces in Trevor's place, like uh, from the same artist that Desenio has. Here is another one. This one's a composition, which I love because it's just kind of random. And then I have a few smaller ones as well, which can go vertical or horizontal, but this is kind of the color palette that I'm working with. Open full discussion. I'm kind of wanting to do a blue in here though. I think that would be so, so pretty. And I was also thinking that kind of a pale yellowy tone. I'm kind of loving the sky blue shade. I've been wanting to do a space kind of similar to my breakfast nook because it's one of my favorite spaces I've designed on my old breakfast nook at the apartment. I just love the blue in there so much and I feel like this blue could be a great kind of starting point for this room. I'm painting everything except for the wood paneling on the left of me. Something I 
noticed lately is that if you use an extension pole with a roller, you can paint the walls so much quicker. So just a little hack, like if you have one of these, or even sometimes you can take like the broom handle off of your broom and use that on your roller, it'll just screw right in. Makes it go so much quicker. back at Miriam's I already went ahead and took off the tape this morning and it looks so good in here the color is perfect but yesterday after painting Marie actually went and headed to pick up a rug that I found on Facebook marketplace I just left Miriam's and I am going to get a Facebook marketplace find a rug okay I just got here I'm waiting for the girl to come out with the rug oh oh I'm gonna go help her with it right now because it's quite large. So I got the rug and shoved her in my car. It's really cute. I think it'll look really good in the space and Drew found a really good one. Fit this in here. Oh, she's bendable. So we are going to place it on the ground. I ended up getting this one for $200, which I thought was a pretty good deal because it's a six by nine rug. It retailed for over 600 from West Elm and it's made of wool. So it's definitely high quality. It's also pretty large because in here formerly was just a skinny runner and I want to do something a little bit larger. I also wanted to cover a majority of the floor because we have a gray faux wood plank tile floor, which is really not my favorite. A lot of rental properties love doing this. So I want to cover up a majority of that. Yeah, it's like everything you want out of an animal print without being without an animal, animal print. print. Yeah. Oh yeah, and look, the door closes really nicely over it. All right, it is hot. My hair just goes crazy today. I apologize, you guys, but I just got a Facebook Marketplace find delivered. I got this beautiful mohair sofa for $350. People come for me when I say numbers like that, but you guys, this is a mohair sofa. I mean, you could get an Ikea sofa for $350, but it's gonna be made of polyester. This is so stunning. Look at the little mustache dip in the center. It has piping along the edges. There's even like this little wood band along all the edges as well. I have to show you the details of this sofa, but the lady said that she used it for a staging project and had it custom made. It's also 100% down as well, and our artwork is gonna be going above it. I'm gonna bring this space to life. I think I'm gonna be doing around four prints on this back wall. I kinda wanna do this one sideways and then this bird one as well. And I also want to mention that they framed these. I think I did say that yesterday, but they actually framed these for me and they look incredible. So the frames here are the oak frames. So I'm going to start with our largest, hang this up, and then kind of hang some of the other pieces around it. If you have a bunch of framed artwork, I always suggest laying it out on the ground and then reorganizing it to get an idea of where the pieces can look together and then transferring that measurement over to your wall. So I just measured the width of the artwork on the ground and then used some tape as markers and then just use some tiny little pin nails to nail these into the wall. The great thing though is if you are in a dorm or a rental friendly space, these pieces are pretty lightweight. They're super high quality but lightweight, which I love. So you're able to command strip them up. And I gotta say, Decenio's design team has been doing such an incredible job lately with the prints and they have a vast frame selection as well they have different wood tones you could do white black different metals and they also have the mats which I actually used in these that looks so good okay we're going to pick up a desk that I found on Facebook marketplace it looks cute I'm gonna pop it up right here it was 225 but I got them down to 200 
really good haggler. Also, if you ever notice that an item's literally marked for like $230 or like the most random amount, it's because they know you're gonna ask them for like the most even number underneath, I swear, Here so. Here we go. <laughs> Look how good this is, you guys. I love the handles, the little details. Hey guys. Oh, there's literally a camera oh, right sorry. there. I want stuff on it, but I, did I just interfere with the footage? Not at all. I just didn't want you to think I was filming you or anything. <laughs> oh, no, I was more worried I just interfered. No, with you're the totally fine. Poey, do you like the desk? Do you like the desk, Poey? Go some more. How perfect does the desk fit in here? I love it. It is so great. Such a nice size. We still have the sofa back here. The colors in here, I am so, so happy with. I love the way the desk looks. We have some like dark and depthy colors in here, but then the blue really adds a nice pop. I'm gonna be adding a light fixture here, which I found on Facebook Marketplace for $40, and I cannot wait to share that with you. Marie is actually going and picking it up right now, but I'm actually thinking of bringing back in the previous bookcase they had over over here just to get some storage back in the room. And last night, Marie went and picked up a light fixture that I found. I'm going to pop up my messages to Justin because I was so excited when I found this light and the uh, listing from Facebook Marketplace sadly already got removed, but it was only $39, you guys. No, it was just Wait. Yeah. I'm picking up a light. No. Uh, no. Not, not the grill. You pick up a grill. I'm selling a grill. <laughs> that one. A grill? <laughs> okay. He basically brought a grill, but I was purchasing a light. So he's running home right now to go get the light. But that's more like it. Right? Yeah, I'm just going to take a photo of it no really problem. fast. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's great. This is my $39 light from Facebook. How cool is this? In place of the current cam light. And yes, I found out that you can convert a cam light into a hanging light and I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how. This right here is the kit that we're using. It's from Home Depot. It's a recessed light converter kit. And this is going to basically allow you to turn the recessed light into a hanging pendant light. A light bulb would just twist into up here, but we are actually going to twist this into it. That way we could hardwire it to the light. And then there's a mounting plate that you also add. Installing this is way easier than it looks. You're just going to screw it into the light hole to start. And then there's this plate that comes with it that you pressure fit and then screw uh, with a screwdriver to kind of fit into place. And then you add two screws on either side of that to mount the plate. And then there's this metal piece that goes over the top of it. I don't know why I'm explaining all of this because there are instructions that come with it, but I wanted to share with you how simple it actually was. It only took like 20 minutes to install this. And then you're going to actually use the plate that comes with the light to mount it. I am on phone cam again because I left my camera at Miriam's place, but I just got home and an idea popped in my head that I want to try out. So this right here is a canvas. I attempted to create a Basquiat on this other side. It didn't work clearly. This has been in my house, I don't even know. Probably have this for like six months now. And I think I wanna use it as a pin board at Miriam's place, but I have an idea of filling of this canvas with foam, spray foam, big gap filler. I'm going to be spraying this in the backside. That way when we flip it over, I'm able to recover the front side with fabric. And I'm hoping that this foam is kind of gonna act as the perfect pin board for pins to go into. I just feel like it would work properly. <sighs> So 
So after realizing this big gap filler would not fill the entire thing with one can, I ended up having to buy a couple more. So I brought it over to Miriam's and I ended up using a total of four cans on this, which ended up only being about $22 of foam, which wasn't too bad. And then once that dried down, I went in with a knife and just cut off any of the extra that kind of overflowed over the top. This is the front side of my Basquiat, as you guys can see. But this is the back side with the foam. It is perfect. It's nice and flat too, so it could hang on the wall. I trimmed away any of the extra kind of bumpy areas, and I'm now going to be wrapping this in a sheet of fabric. So I got two and a half yards, which should be just enough to go around this whole piece, and then the width of the fabric is perfect for the width of the canvas. So this right here is the fabric I'm going to be covering our pin board in, and it's the same fabric I actually used on my dining nook chairs. I wanted something light since we do have more of like a medium tone on the wall just to add a little bit of brightness, but I also wanted something that wasn't going to read super stark, so I feel like the navy and the gold stripe in here goes back to our color palette. Something I'll say is a small stripe like this probably isn't the easiest to upholster as your first project if this is your first upholstery project because you want the lines to be nice and straight. So maybe opt for a solid or like an all over print. But all I'm doing is lining up the line with the edge and making sure that I'm consistently following that line and just pulling it and making sure everything's nice and tight. I feel like with a small stripe like this, you have to use more staples to ensure the lines aren't warped or anything. But I went around and my electric stapler honestly is the biggest lifesaver, best investment I have ever made and to frame out our piece I'm going to be using some trellis molding which is super affordable it's like seven dollars a piece and I grabbed two pieces of it stained it a dark brown color and just stapled that to the side and the thing I love about the trellis molding is it gives a nice thin wooden border and you don't have to miter them so I didn't have to bring my saw over to Miriam's I was just able to use a handsaw to get a nice finish on this and I love the way that this pin board ended up looking it looks so high-end and just exactly how I was picturing it doesn't it look like I'm in a music video? Baby, this is what you came for. <laughs> Look at the pin board. It looks so good. I love this. I feel like it looks like such a cool elevated pin board. And of course we have the foam in the background. So what's behind the fabric is that old painting I had. And then we have the foam back there. And the idea is that you could pin virtually anything on it and just pull it off and just kind of move things around. You can literally like put anything absolutely anywhere. It is our last day over at Miriam's and I am going to start hanging up some stuff on the pin board we made yesterday, which literally turned out so good. I'm so happy with the way that this looks. If you don't want to push directly through like the paper, you can also just use like the edge of one and then just like put this on the edge to hold it in place. adding another print here it just felt a little empty in this corner and this just added the perfect finishing touch now I also made a lumbar pillow last night at my house I literally just sewed a circle of fabric and then cut out some end pieces out of a different contrasting fabric just for a little interest and I love it it's that velvet stripe that was on sale at FNS fabrics that I used in Trevor. Now Miriam already had this little kind of it's actually plastic believe it or not this whole thing is like a plastic side table but it looks so great and something about it really ties the gray flooring and more of the cool toned wood into the other areas. I like how it has that kind of cool toned vibe with the flooring and with the wall but then it has this warm tone that kind of ties in with the rest of the furniture and I really thought it could be nice to have a little table here just off to the side so if someone is like in here or if Miriam's working here she doesn't have to like go over to the desk you know she can like put something here. Now on here I'm just gonna add this vase. It's like an old one that I've had from Target and I just added some tulips from the grocery store and I think those 
are gonna live there. So of course we need a lamp. So this lamp here is actually from Etsy. I made over my old office with this and this was in there for probably like a year. I got this at an estate sale the other day and it's a little compo dish but I love the red, especially with the blue. And then I have this wood riser that I've had for a while. I thought I'd pop that over here. Found this on the coffee table. So a little candle and then this tiny little dish. I found this at a thrift store years ago for like a dollar. Could be a little pencil cup or something like that. I also got this in an estate sale recently. It's like a little iron mask figurine and I think it is so fun. I'm gonna place it right here. I just did a push pin in the center of the wood. Just a little additional element. This office space is all complete and I am in love with the outcome of this. I think it is such a unique, interesting, fun, but very, very calming. Like the vibes in here are so calm. This blue color is perfection. All of the artwork, love this makeover and the light fixture. Let me share it and reveal it to you guys in three, two, one. loved this makeover I just absolutely I love it I think it is such a cool outcome the board the pin board the artwork the sofa from Facebook the lumbar pillow like all of the little details just mesh so perfectly and nothing really like competes with each other like when you look in this room you see so many interesting elements but kind of how it's long and skinny the elements just fit together so nicely and I just love the way that this room turned out and I hope that you guys did as well so if you are in the market for some artwork or you want to check out Desenio I highly suggest doing so I will put my link at the top of the description box below for you which gives you a major major discount and again these art prints and frames are perfect for back to school so if you're going back to school you're in a dorm whatever it might be they're extremely lightweight and the front's actually made of like a really clear it's not actually glass but it looks like a crystal clear piece of glass however it makes it so it's extremely lightweight so you can use command hooks to put them up on your wall or little velcro strips so I will catch you guys in my next one if you'd love to see another small space like this or even like another type of small space whether it's like a dining room or a space you haven't seen me do in a while let me know um this one totally was rental friendly as well which was really fun i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>